Hello everybody, I hope you liked the new intro for this episode. I think it looks incredible. But basically, uh, in this episode we are going to be doing Mission 5, which is extremely hard. Wow. Uh, but first, so, we're well, going to are. buy some weapons. Uh, we're just going to buy to convoy. We don't need a slim sword, we don't need a iron sword, we don't need a slim lance. Uh, we'll buy... We have two javelins already and we only have two lance units at the moment. Uh, iron lance we will go. buy one of. Um, we'll buy the Here mini bow. And I think that is it. We actually will buy Here a surge as well. Um, just thank for you. Celine. We'll then go over here. I thank you. Now about the shop. Um. Um. We are gonna buy. I think maybe some tonics. We're gonna buy a I magic tonic, a I defense tonic. I think we might ironically just buy every single tonic. Uh, we'll buy an alum. We'll buy an extra one of you. Okay, so in this episode, we are essentially going to be doing a really hard mission. Um, so the inventory is important here. So um, you're never going to be using a slim sword. Um, so for you, I want you to have the magic one because she's the only unit that does magic damage. Um, and then we'll have her also have Surge. So she has a few things going. Uh, she uh, she will have 14 magic for this mission. 10 speed is pretty okay. Um, Fram. I'm not sure what we'll give Fram. Um, our character, we currently have plus 2 speed. So I mean... We do have a little bit of speed. Uh, we will give this uh, javelin uh, back though. I think for her, we'll go for the HP tonic just for now. Um, there isn't any magic units, so resistance isn't needed yet. Um, Etty, I want to give Etty the speed one. Um, Chloe, uh, I want to give the Iron Lance as well as give her the Defense Tonic because she'll need it. Um, Louie, I want to give a Javelin as well as the Steel Lance and we'll give him um... The just dexterity tonic, I guess. Um, I guess we'll give you the luck tonic as well. We'll give us the strength tonic. And then the resistance tonic will just not be used in this one. We might even... Uh, no, nah, we'll just leave it at that. Okay. So, we now have all of those ready. Emblem rings, uh, we're gonna give... Sigurd. You, Sigurd. Um, and at this point, um, I think we could save Scum. Uh, you, I think you can save Scum rings. Uh, the gotcha rings. Uh, and then you can essentially spend like 25 hours trying to get the good rings. So we could do that and we might. We'll see how we go with our first set of rings. We actually have to go back and we have to, um roll the rings again. The one nice thing is the first three pedestals are glow uh, are glowing uh, when you get in there because the first three protagonists are there because it's Marth, 
Salakar and Marth. Technically, Alm is also a protagonist, but they just said, oh, we don't care about him. He's only really cool, and uh, he was really meta in, fate, uh, in Heroes, so... 270. Uh, that means we have a thousand flat. That's really good. It means we can get ten. Um, at the end of the day, I want to get like one S rank. So uh, I'm just having this be part of the video. Um, I'm just gonna cut out the previous part where I did this. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys something cool. Um, so Marth gives us Tiki as well as someone else we don't care about. Salika gives us Jenny and someone else we don't care about. I think it's Saber, level 3 Saber. Um, neither of these people give you really good rings at the start of the game. Sigurd, however, gives you an S Lashius. We can skip this. So we get an S Lashius and an A Lewin. Uh, and a B Dirdre. Um, so although it's kind of meh, it's still really good. We also get an Arden C. So strength plus one can actually be kind of useful. Uh, but essentially, Dirge B will give to Fram, Lewin A will give to uh, Etie, and then yeah. But like you get a really good S rank, because uh, giving attack, especially because almost all of the units at this point will be doing physical attack, being able to give that to uh, someone is just so useful. Um, well, yeah, which is uh, really, really good. Uh, is, is essentially what I'm trying to say here. It's really good. Um, so I'm going to have this go over the point of uh, how I originally was doing this. Um, so uh, as soon as that, um, as soon as the loading screen happened, this is now future Cody. Um, just so you guys know, uh, I did tinker with it for a bit and I just found out that it's literally unable. You cannot cheese it. Uh, it is set in stone what it will be. It might be different depending on uh, actions. It might be a randomized seed every single time you get. Uh, every single time you get to uh, buying rings, it might be a different thing. But from what I know, uh, it seems to be a general thing where um, once you enter Somiel after you do a mission, it seems to be set in stone what rings you'll get. So you can save at the start of Somiel and try to buy 10 rings. I would highly recommend only buying rings when you have 10 rings, uh, saving before you do so in the room, and then just um, doing every single set of rings and seeing which one gives you the best ring, and then taking that. Um, so basically people are now, uh, Illusia is attacking the castle with a small squad. Um, yeah. I love this man so much. He has so much enthusiasm. I wish we could recruit him. Who's to say? Is it inside the castle? Out on the ground? I'm asking all polite like. He feels like a character. He feels like a character that would be in a play. Like this really feels like a play moment. Is it over here? Where's the ring? I know you got it. And if you don't talk, well, and then we'll have to deal with you. And then Miss Bikini Bitch comes in. I'd recommend against it, darling. Lady Sophia. After all, her majesty can't tell us much of value if she's dead. Now, I come bearing news. One of our soldiers said he spotted the princess. She is so hot. How curious. But in the nice way. Not in the way where it's like, oh man, I would love to be with her, but in the way where it's like... I think anyone who has them as a wife is... should be really happy. Because she seems... one, she's a great person. I don't want to have Booba in the thumbnail. I don't really care about this character yet. Uh, I feel like Recluse is way, uh, Reluce, or however, Recluse, I, I don't know how you say his name. I think he's way more interesting to have as a thumbnail character. Especially because on Maddening, this guy is actually, apparently, like, the hardest. Um, pretty much, in this cutscene, it's just, we want the rings! Give me the rings! And that's it.
Like literally, that's it. Wait. What can we do? Okay. Um. So unit selection. Nope. 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 So we have uh, the characters we'll be using here. Uh, emblem rings. So Fram uh, will probably just be getting Deidre or Deirdre. Uh, fun fact: One of the when I did play uh, Fire Emblem Heroes when it just came out, uh, I actually rolled a Deirdre, uh, the S rank Deirdre, and I, I I was like, "Damn, this character seems really cool. That's awesome!" And then I uh, never really played again. Um, Lewin for you, um, and then we're gonna give Chloe, um, Chloe the biggest boost. Uh, but essentially, if you do get an S star. Uh, ring per time uh, 10 rings you buy that does mean uh, that you can actually get a lot of stat up because you get plus four stats um, with an s rank ring um, so if you can get a lot of them that actually really fit your army like a plus two speed plus one attack plus one dex kind of thing uh, it can really come in handy but uh, we now have all of the rings put on our units that we're using um, so let's have a look at the map and talk about the mechanics of this map in general so one of the things that's really daunting about this map is just the fact of like, oh my god, there's so many units here though. Um, funnily enough, in between, uh, from hard mode and regular mode, uh, from this location there are no new enemies. Um, and neither here. So in this area here there's no new enemies either, their stats are just increased on them. Uh, same here, same with this entire map. This map doesn't have any new enemies. Uh, there are two sets of reinforcements here and here. Uh, I think both of them are a... One of them has a bow and then a... This one has a bow spawn here and a lance cavalry. And this one has a lance cavalry and then maybe a bow or... I think this axe usually comes down maybe. Because I'm thinking about axe. Um, okay, so I like to have... Uh, Chloe and Louis go this way um, and then have everyone else kind of support uh, the main front um, so 16 attack 8 speed uh, we actually don't double but we don't get doubled either so 16 attack we uh, we take 11 damage or we will die in two hits um, this unit can't reach us uh, 2 res, 3 speed, we easily double. Uh, 17, 17, 15, 15. Uh, yeah, so if we put our unit here, or like our unit here rather, we can then put our unit here, kill that one. Uh, next turn we're safe, we don't even die to double from this guy. Um, we'll then have Eti, who has 7 speed, to their 8 speed, which is fine. Uh, three defense, which means she takes more damage. That's fine though. Yep, this should uh, this should be all good. So we'll start the fight. Okay. So this is the boss, uh, Nalus. Uh, you can break down doors. If you have a thief, you can also just open them for free. Uh, so this is uh, Nalus. As you can see, he has a little red thing below his health bar. That means he has double health. He has two life bars. Uh, health bars and when we kill him we get plus five to a single unit of health we give like plus five health to a single unit which is going to be so useful it means we can have a squishier unit maybe have a bit more health uh, I think I'll be giving it to Chloe um, or Celine um, it's a really hard pick between them though because Chloe uh, you know it, it's a really weird give and take um, your orders please but yeah, um, so how much damage do we do here? So that leaves them with seven. Um, and we want to have this one highlighted. Say the word. Um, okay. We'll start with this one. Uh, when they lose their uh, weapon, they actually become a little bit more dodgy. So I do think it'll be easier to hit with Louie than it will be with Chloe. Yeah. 
This could go a little bit poorly, but even if it goes poorly, we still don't lose anything. Uh, thankfully. Uh, and that's, this is the thing about this map, right? Is it seems really daunting, right? Uh, is it seems daunting, right? Uh, we have all these units. These units are typically taken out by the squadron that goes up here. Uh, and these, this one dies in one turn. This one dies in the follow-up, and this one dies, kinda afterwards as well. Yes. All right. Um. So we have this person down here. This person just take out this one easily. Uh, this map's really fun uh, to min max, I think. I think that unironically, um, the way you play this map uh, is really interesting because uh, you either play it where you really rush in or you play it to try to do some more. Uh, Celine, by the way, by the way, uh, Celine is a way better clan. If you're thinking of using clan, please use Celine instead. Clan has a 10% magic growth, Celine has 25 and she has a better promotion that she can go into essentially. Uh, and she just comes with more magic as well. She starts off with like 9 magic uh, and she already has Celica. So any utility that you try to get out of Celica on the first one uh, pretty much is the same overall. Um, you say. um okay. So that sword unit we'll get to later. Whatever you say. Um. There we go. Um. So there's chests up here that we'll uh, be able to deal with. Uh, <laughs> this thief will try to go for them. The only Please. thing that's really useful is I think that one of them will have a armor slayer, which will be useful in a few chapters. Thankfully, uh, they have no crit on us. Uh, we actually should have uh, used our items. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, items that we use on our turn. So any unit that didn't get to do anything, uh, we should have just done that. Um. Even with something else, we can't kill. However, we can kill here. We can kill here, fine. I think that works better. Because uh, we kind of need to now reinforce this area a little bit more. We have tonics to help us as well. Um, I think we will... We don't want to engage. I know that much. Um, I know then as well we want to heal. Eddie, just get some health going, getting some healing going. is good shit. Um, we want both of these units to be attacking right next to... Yeah, we can do it easily. Uh, I'm gonna give the kill to Eddie. I feel like Eddie can make a better use out of a level. Uh, Celine is literally gonna be the same, and she already ha uh, is a bit further from a promo. Uh, and she'll be fine for the rest of this map. However, Eddie really should get a level up here. Uh, just in general practice, even if she wasn't guaranteed to get the level up, uh, and if she needed a few more kills to get the level up, I still would give her the kill here. So level six. Uh, Dex, Res, Luck, uh, we're not getting that good of level ups, uh, really annoying. Uh, but these things do happen and some, and that just means you have to account for them. Uh, we are going to use the Javelin here, uh, and the reason why we're going to use the Javelin is so then when the Archer comes and attacks us, we can actually retaliate, uh, which will mean that we'll do a little bit more. Uh, Louis is basically the MVP of this map as well. He'll be able to uh, tank a lot of hits and do a lot of damage and really just help us. And you have to just make sure that you don't allow the archer to have more movement. And don't worry about the thief. Uh, the thief may seem scary, but at the end of the day, he really sufficient? isn't. Um, and as we'll show a little bit further up as well, um, we'll be able to make sure that um, we can get through this pretty safely at the end of the day. 
Um, so one thing that's cool now is Chloe is just able to go in here um, and now just kill uh, this unit. Which is awesome. It means that we're just going to have a, a little bit easier, a bit more experience. Um, and then at this point is when we go here and now we'll use our Dexterity Tonic. Um, so now we have a little bit more hit, which is obviously good for us. Um, and then at this point we just go in with all of these units up here now. Um, and then yeah, we just heal whichever one, just get more experience. Because at the end of the day, getting experience is just cool. Um, so sword unit uh, will essentially die in one turn. Um, these axe units will come to us, which is really useful. Um, we can... We will deal with them. Um, I think... There's a few ways we can do this. We can't actually attack... Uh, we can't attack the uh, sword guy with Chloe. So I'm going to actually just send in Chloe over here to help with this front for a little bit. Um, so our monk is going to level up on the next uh, thing. So I will just heal here. And give Celine this little bit of HP just for this level up, essentially. Okay, next time we'll get the level up. Okay, fine. Um, so Etty should be able to kill this one for free. Uh, which is good. Uh, but we can do that with this as well. Okay, and we just kill straight up with uh, Celine. That's really good for us. We'll give the kill to our main character instead of Etty. Even though Etty kind of deserves uh, more levels. Uh, we can't really put her in a good position at the moment. So we'll now have her attack. There we go. Break defense is so useful on any character. Um, we'll have Eddie come in here, and then we'll have... Essentially... Essentially there's no one here to really be annoying, so we're just going to use the Steel Lance. Uh, it will take a little bit more. Hopefully we do get a crit in one of these next few turns. Uh, but even if we don't, we're still in a really good position. So the sword unit will come to us and uh, die in one hit. So now there's no units behind us being annoying, meaning we can move troops in more easily. Uh, this Armonite will attack, uh, which obviously is going to be annoying. But at the end of the day, it's still fine. Uh, this Swordy will come in yet again. Next round we'll kill them. Uh, not even by killing them. Um, one thing that's really damn cool that you can actually do here uh, is to engage here. And this is actually a really cool strat. Uh, I think that they purposely designed around. Uh, is to... Actually... Just make sure that they didn't give this one a hand axe this time. No, they did not. So there's two spaces here, which means that this person with a hand axe can't actually hit you. So what you can do is you can engage and then warp Ragnarok um, to this location. And then immediately one-shot this archer. Uh, and I feel like they purposely put the archer there. So no matter what, you can warp to them and most likely kill them, even with a stat-screwed unit. Um, so then you can uh, have like two people essentially come up here and help you. Uh, and help them. Um, other than that... The only problem is, is this map gets really boring... In like one turn. Crit maybe? No, okay. It's fine. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah there's nothing we can do now. Uh, it's now basically the waiting game. Uh, sword unit will go into Louis. He missed, surprisingly. Yeah, 
that means he gets a little bit more damage done to him. Uh, but then he kills. Uh, axe unit comes in. Might actually break. No, he doesn't break. That's good. That means that on the next turn, no matter what, we can kill this uh, uh, lance unit. If I knew that this was going to happen, I would have uh, brought Chloe in more. Uh, so, we we just want Chloe here, essentially. Um, we can then just wait. Um, we'll have these units be here, essentially. I'm still quite capable. Um, and then yeah, we'll just kill this axe unit. My apologies. Going up in the world feels good. Level nine defense and build. Build is something actually rare to get. Um, so the fact that we got it is great. It means that we can now handle heavier weapons. Um, and then basically Selica can come in here. Uh, and this unit here dies. Here go. Um, we actually need to see how much stat. So 13 speed to our 10, he doesn't double. 12 fizz. Um, how much res? 5 res. Uh, we do 17 damage. Um, we can actually... In, uh, we can equip Seraphim, which does a bit more damage. Uh, we'll use the magic to increase our magic. Um, and then we will use one of these vulneraries because we may as well. Uh, and then we'll enter. So essentially, we're, uh, this uh, map is kind of weird um, to where it's kind of like cool, but at the same time, very not so. Um, we want to have a unit here and a unit here. And then I will simply just wait. Okay. Um, so I'll go here and attack. Uh... No, we'll give it to, um... Yeah, we'll give it to, uh... We'll have Louie attack, and we'll give it to Saline. Uh, just because Saline probably needs, uh... The levels a bit more than Louie. Louie literally can just, like, be fine for the next few chapters. As is. There we go. I will not forget your loss. Next uh, kill, we'll give them a thing. Uh, we'll put this luck tonic away. Uh, we don't need uh, we don't need that thing right now, but uh, it's good to have. Um, one thing you can do is actually uh, move in here, chain guard for protection, uh, and then be fine. Uh, and then essentially what you do. Louis, uh, so the Sigurd and the uh, Selica will go here, um, and then you just Sigurd in. Um, so Selica will just move regularly, um, and then with Sigurd, you will actually just straight up move. Um, and then you'll start to break this door down regularly. I haven't seen the hand axe user ever move. Um, so that is something you might want to kind of think about. Um, yeah. So with the engage, you should typically be fine. Um, 20. Yeah, and then there's also this one. How much move? One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, and then this one. This one wouldn't be able to hit anyway. 22 attack. So 22 attack um, would mean... Yeah, that doesn't seem very good. 
So 22 attack, we have 7 defense, so... 13... Why does this have more attack than the Lance unit? Damn. Uh, yeah, we'll end turn here. Okay. Uh, we'll now have Sigurd essentially... Destroy this with the Javelin. Opening this up more. We'll then have you in the back a little bit more. Um... So you have four, one, two, three, four. So essentially this this tile here is just a tile you don't want to be on. Um, awesome. Um, yep. And then we can just uh, move uh, Celica down here. And now we're pretty much fine, honestly, at this point. Um, we've done everything to set up for the future chapters. And now we just have to slowly uh, take out these units a bit. Uh, and trying to feed kills as well along the way. So the way that I usually do this is by having Celica immediately pop Ragnarok here. Um, and just straight up nuking uh, this guy. This is really useful and it really helps. Uh, it just means that immediately... You don't have to use another one of your engages, uh, and there's only two slots left. Uh, there's only two spots for engages left. That's like the same level up again. I would really like getting some magic, maybe, but I understand. Um. Okay, so at this point, uh, yeah, at this point, it's basically just the same thing. Um, so we can actually kill that. Eddie well, should get the level up. We'll do this. We'll see if we get anything cool. But if we don't, then it's fine. And we'll give it to Eddie. Yep, Eddie just kills. This way, everyone's getting a little bit of a battle in as well, which is really good. Um, so yeah, and then we have you coming in here, and just... Yeah, we're killing this one regardless. They don't have any crit on us, so we're safe. Uh, we also break them, so literally there's nothing that they can do to hurt us. Uh, yet again, breaking is so useful in this game. Defense, I'm really happy about that. I really want to have a little bit of a tanky lord. Um, uh, that will actually kill them. We'll use the Iron Lance here. We'll try not to crit. Uh, awesome. And then we can just have Fram come in and... We'll wait here. Oh, she could have done it, but it's fine anyway. Fram! Bust a moon! Yeah! It's decided. We now get a level up on Fram, which is obviously useful. Hey, strength! It does something at the end of the day. Um, so now we have two sets of reinforcements. Okay, so they're both bow users. Um, so at this point, it's where we are wanting to... Uh, be a bit more safe. So we want to have these ones be like that. So how are you going? So 11 speed. We have more speed. Um, is that our slim lance? That is our slim lance. Um, they only have an iron lance. Uh, they have 17 fizz. Um, so we do survive a round of combat. So I think having them be there with you here, um, and then healing you, just because that's an easy thing for us to do right now. Um, and then we can have Etty over here, and then have you here, you can equip the Iron Lance, and then have you next to them to build support. Okay, we're going good. Uh, the bow users are slightly intimidating. 
it's also intimidating to not hit a really high chance to hit move. Okay. I was hoping at least for like a crit maybe because we lost like such a low chance to lose shot. Is it go time? Mm. There's nothing there that we can easily do. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I think we just have to heal. You're my hero. And just like really be safe. Um and then we can We really can't afford to do that, which is the problem. Actually, we can. Emblem engage. Okay, so you're really dead. You're like three times dead right now. Stop it, is already dead. But, uh, easily dead. Um, and then we will, uh, I guess we will attack with you. How much damage are you doing? That's the question. So with Seraphim... She's doing 17, so we need to do 13 damage with Louie. Let's just not hit this time. I mean, not miss this time. Could have been a really bad jinxing moment. Um, and then we'll just wait here. We'll attack. Uh, okay, just don't miss. Thank God. I will not forget your loss. Yes, so Celica is now good. Uh, no units are in range. Um, let's see how this goes. We'll use the speed tonic. Uh, that didn't actually trigger her ability. I thought it would. Uh, but we always win this bow fight if we enemy phase it first. Uh, which is why you want to enemy phase. A uh, very useful thing. I'm listening. Okay. Okay, we'll do this. Doesn't kill. We should be able to feed another kill to Chloe this mission anyway. Um, and then yeah, we get another we get another cool attempt of winning uh, with Fram here. Yet again, no crits with Fram. Really lame. Don't worry, I'm fine. Um. Yeah, we just win this one. We could have actually moved out of the way Pretty because weak. uh, we didn't need the attack boost for the second hit, but uh. It was just kind of a may as well moment. Um, we actually don't need to not do this. Uh, we've also, because of all the attacks we did, we actually naturally charged uh, the engage of Louis, which is actually really good for us. Um, we'll start to heal some of these units a bit more. Speed and res. Hey, speed is always really good. Um, so this is a sword unit. Uh, we'll have our main lord go in the fray there. Um, and we'll use the strength tonic. 
Just so uh, we're a bit more offensively good. We'll then put you in there. Put you in there. And then we'll have this here. This means that uh, his effect actually activates. Meaning he has two less damage taken. Meaning that it's way harder for them to actually uh, do a good amount of damage. Um, and this means as well in the next turn we'll be able to easily kill uh, that unit. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, we take zero damage. I don't know if we naturally would take zero damage anyway, but it's just a nice little precaution that we can take. Um, do we kill any of these? No, we do not. Do we kill this? No, we do not. But do we kill... No. Um... I think with Fram, we just want Fram to actually just heal like a regular healer. Um, that way she's doing fine. We then want you... T oh, actually. Yeah, we'll have you attack here. Uh, although this can do some damage back, it will not kill us. I don't know why, like, uh, last time I did this fight, uh, I had uh, Etie attack them, and they, even though they were at range, they didn't throw their hand axe at me, and I was really confused about it. Um, so we'll have you go in and attack here. Just boom, dead. Still do more. Almost a level up, which is really good. Um, we'll then have you come in here. Yeah. We'll just kill that unit. Chloe as well is literally just about to level up. Um, then we'll attack here as well. That is like a 5% chance to miss with 2 RN and we got it. Um, well I guess we'll just move it down a bit. Well, I guess thank you, honestly. The fact that we missed that is actually kind of good because it means before um, before the units come in that will attack us, we have literally everything ready. Um, and we get Etty and um, Chloe to level up as well. So we just get two extra... Uh, we get le two level ups to work with this final boss. Hey, defense, we now take four less damage from all sources. Um, so as you can see, this one take uh, is less able to move. Um, so 11 speed, 10 speed, so they can't double us. 17. Um, we can just stand here, equip the rapier, and then kind of just wait. Um, and then here, we can do items, have the steel lance equipped, be fine. If I can, I should. Um, we'll then do the vulnerary here, and then we'll just uh, do this. And this means that Louis' ability activates, um, so he takes less damage as well. And we should be able to just... Oh, he was able to break. Well, that's irritating. I was kind of hoping for us to be able to just kill immediately. If we dodged, we would have been able to, but, you know, you can't always count on dodging. Um, okay, so we now have basically everyone ready. We don't deal any damage. Ugh, that is so irritating of ranges. 
My um, how fine. much does this do? Um, if I just do this. That brings them to seven. I think we can just kill this boss in one go. Once you do attack him, it does reveal the mechanic. Um, so we'll then have Etty take out the first bit of health bar. I love this guy. He feels like a Waluigi-esque character. Where it's like, it's not the focus or anything, but it's just a funny, nice, like a funny brigandy character to really uh, start you up on your adventures. If I do that, am I then able to one shot? Why am I literally one attack away from being able to do that? I'll manage. Load style rush. Uh, actually, I want you to be the one who gets the kill here. Um, so I'll actually have you attack here. 99% chance are basically literally impossible to lose. Um, just because I do not want to accidentally screw myself. He does actually fight back from any range, so I may as well... Um, it's a 4% change. Um... I think we'll take this. The boss ends when we kill this guy, so uh, the level ends. Um, so we can now just simply attack. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Uh, actually, either way. I think this is more exciting. Uh, we still obviously win. Ooh, the divine dragon! If I kill you, I won't have to lick her boots anymore. Well, too bad you're dead. Ooh, Seraph Robe obtained. There we go. We have now been able to finish uh, that chapter. Alfred, Mother is in the back room. She's okay. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you, all of you, for rescuing me. My children, you're safe. What a relief. We have a guest, Mother. Someone came all the way from Lethos to see you. The Divine Dragon? Queen Av, it's an honor to meet you. I'm so glad that you're all right. I've come here by invitation of Prince Alfred. Just look at you, awake at long last. I am Ev, the Queen of Firene. It is my absolute pleasure to... The Divine Dragon has come to help... <sighs> you know, that was not as bad you. as the previous mission. This. A legendary thank you since my fa... You are blessed. Well, yeah. she's 
No, that's so. awful. Some Essentially, uh, we're fine now. My heart. Forgive me. I just do mine while I can. Yeah, so essentially we're all good now. For now, allow your Yeah. Thank you. It's a pretty good moment. Uh But uh this one's the oh no. better. No, I'm sorry. I like how it doesn't say that any time has passed or anything. It's just like Oh okay, it's from context clues, I guess time has passed. Thank you. There is my king What? There is another ring? It was kept secret for generations, not however. So there's an extra is, ring however, here that I think we unlock. I see. To ensure that no one would find Oh right. So yeah, the Makaya ring is nearby, um, but we get to learn about that uh, very shortly, which is uh, really exciting. I swear. I swear. Thank you. Um, the next mission, uh, we're actually gonna have to do the power log for the next mission. Uh, simply due to the fact that the next mission's actually uh, pretty hard from what I remember. The boss is mainly the reason why it's hard. Um, but yeah, so in this episode we're simply going to uh, just go and uh, set up for the next episode. Um, but yeah. We'll probably be doing pretty well, I think. So, so Miel, we get 400 bond fragments from that. That's really good. Um, we have these two people join in who are a clothier and someone else. Uh, I love this. I, I feel like this cutscene wasn't really needed. I feel like Nicluse could have just died to us and he didn't even need to retreat. So basically she's just like, no one's able to fail me and live. And then she kills him. And then they, and then the little child who was in the, who killed our mother, um, comes in and is just like, Oh, well, we can't attack yet. We'll have to make a retreat. And it's just like, why not just have her be like, hmm, so I guess he was not able to do his task. Farewell, uh, like, good riddance, what a pest he was. And then have the lady in the cloak be like, well, from this attack, we, we uh, have our forces a bit too thin for us to easily be able to, uh, you know, do anything. And it makes more sense as well. Why get rid of a soldier who, although didn't do anything, does have one information, two, knows the people, and three can maybe ambush them to make their lives a bit harder. And our failure to acquire the ring. <laughs> I was expecting to get at least one. But like, yeah, see? So, like, this conversation here could have happened without the previous yes, conversation happening. there's another divine. It does ex What should the battle... Um, so, like, yeah, literally, like, this conversation could have been all it was... With uh, just her before the uh, child person comes along, she could have just said, "Okay, so I get, uh, so he's dead now. Uh, I guess we really, we, if, I guess it probably is the best option to retreat, and then have the other person come in and then basically reiterate that yes, that is uh, the option that we'll be taking and stuff like that. I feel like it would just work a bit better. Um, however, we can uh, bond with Marth. It is good. I know." Which will make us be fine. There we go, level up. We can now get skills from uh, that character. Um, so the blacksmith is the main thing that's really important here. Uh, ordinarily, in my previous playthrough, uh, the most important thing about that was getting uh, the Levin sword. Um, but since we won't be needing that, I think I'll hold on to my steel at least. Hmm. Um, but yeah. Let's look at some of these supports, shall we? I really enjoyed our tea party today. Thanks for inviting me, Saline. The pleasure is all mine, Divine One. Our conversation made for an excellent spice over an already fine tea. <laughs> the tea was fine, wasn't it? That floral note it had was almost unbelievably good. I'm glad you appreciated it. The leaves were grown in Firenay, you know. 
The delicate, subtle taste embodies the spirit of our kingdom. It is my utmost favorite. Yeah, I've heard the Fyranese prefer the pastoral life over any kind of open conflict. That really came through in this tea. There's a Fyranese folktale I think you might find interesting. Our royal palace is home to a spirit who ensures happiness for the virtuous. For thieves or interlopers, however, the spirit drives them off with mischievous tricks. <laughs> Imagine, driven off by the prankish antics of a spirit. No serious consequences at all. How effective a deterrent do you suppose such a spirit really is? <laughs> Even so, it's a lovely story. It's the kind of good-hearted tale that reflects the Fyranese character, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Well then, we must have tea together again sometime, Divine One. That was a kind of nice one. Uh, seemed pretty eh at the same time. Uh, but overall, it seemed pretty damn good. That's his clan, so we really, yet again, don't need to worry about that one too much at the end of the day. Um, yeah, it seems like there's abundance of stuff in the garden. Uh, but there's also some stuff down here, so I'll simply go down here grab the like two things that are down here um, and then we will go to the Somiel map uh, go to the orchard which is where everything is um, and then simply grab a lot of these foodie boys around here and then we're pretty much done for this episode essentially Huh. This is the Amiibo Gazebo, which is a really funny uh, rhyme. Okay, so it was there. Okay, I didn't know exactly where it was, and I was like getting a little bit confused. Uh, so we have nuts, so we're one half of a man now. We have one nut in our sack. Uh, looking kind of whack. Um, oh, damn, I didn't say it again. Uh, yet again, if you have any names for uh, our friend, uh, put them down below. Um, well, hey. but now, we'll essentially... Um, just have a look-see on if there's anything in particular we can grab. No. Take care! Welcome. May as well I buy this because we'll need it in the next map. Do come again. Um, okay. Um We'll Welcome. look at the uh, blacksmith and see works. what we can really do here. Um, so our libertarian uh we can only use it with our main lord. Um, we only have 80, um, so I think that means we can't even use, yeah, we can't even, like, upgrade it into any of these things. I wonder if that's the Brave Lance. Um... This is the killer bow, uh, and this would be the silver bow, uh, steel bow. This is the long bow, which we'll be getting in the next chapter. And this, mo I think this is the brave bow. I think that's the brave bow. I think the steel bow go turns into the brave bow. Um. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to use anything that uses steel. I think this is just a free one. Um. Hmm. 
This is a hard one. Uh, do we want to have like a kind of good Iron Lance? I think we do. I think we want to have a little bit of a better Iron Lance just for I'll be here. her. Um, okay. Uh, is the arena open yet? It is. Okay, cool. So we'll do some arena shenanigans and then we will uh, save and do some rings. Um, and then we'll end it there. Um, so essentially the way that this works is you can do three attacks. Um, so essentially the way you want to do it is just have uh, whatever unit is like the one that's leveling up the least. You want to no, just uh, spam it with them. I am Chloe, Royal Knight of Firenay. Oh dear. This knight has met her match. Somehow okay, well we're doing better than Chloe at least, so that's something. Hey, look at that level up. We got build too, that's so rare to get. Um, I think we will do maybe just two more of our main character let's just really match. try to have our main character level up a lot well okay let's see how good we do against someone who's been benched yeah I thought so thanks for showing me what I still need to work on we do have a plus one libertarian though so we are getting like plus two damage at the end of the day And we have all these support conversations we can do in the next episode. I'll be your opponent. Fram, 33rd steward of the Divine Dragon. There's one damage. It's okay. I'll win the next one. Somehow I won. Yep, so that is it for that. Uh, we'll now save in, in the door. Um, we'll save in the door and we'll do that in the next episode. We'll do that in the next episode. Um, and I'll just see how that goes. But yeah, so I hope you all had an absolutely wonderful time watching this episode of Fire Emblem Engage. Uh, Nelus Edition. Um, we will now go to the achievements. We'll just claim everything. Okay, we have enough for 10 things. That's amazingly perfect. So we'll save here, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.